Hello. Welcome to Books of the Month. I'm your host, Dr. Larry Carnes, and we are glad that you join us. We have a very, very, very special and exciting guest with us today, <laughs> and Diane Davies. She's the author of this powerful book, Jeannie Ann's Grandma Has Breast Cancer. So, Diane, welcome. Thank you. We're so glad that you could join us and glad that you could be here with us. This is such a powerful and exciting topic, but before we get into the book, share a little bit with us about who you are okay. and where you come from. Okay, I'll do that. Um, I'm Diane Davies. I'm uh, an author of some children's books and an author of some other books. Right yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and um, I'm a, a wife, a mother, grandmother of two children. I have um, a 12-year-old uh, granddaughter and a 7-year-old grandson, and they live right next door to me, which is wonderful for a grandma. We all get along very fine. Yes. I uh, taught elementary school for 26 mm -hmm. years. Teacher, yes. A teacher, yeah. And um, I also... Um, at the time that I uh, was diagnosed with breast cancer, I became a breast cancer patient advocate. Yes. And a, an advocate, as you know, is somebody that helps others, empowers others, um, supports others, and you know, in many ways takes care of, of them on their journey, and this happens to be with the breast cancer well, journey. This is powerful. You know, uh, uh, with the illustrations and the way that it's written, of course, it conveys that it's going to communicate to the younger generation, to, to young people. And of course, it's about grandma. Absolutely. So, so what was the inspiration to write a book of this type with the illustrations and, and speak it from a grandmother's perspective? Um, well, the reason I went with grandmother is um, I, wanted, I wanted to have something that would uh, enable a uh, conversation within a family. Yes. And a, a mother can have breast cancer, a grandmother can have breast cancer, a father or, or grandfather. And I, but I wanted that to open up the door so that the family could have a conversation that they needed because children need to know when there's a breast cancer diagnosis, or not just a, can a breast cancer diagnosis, but any kind of a cancer diagnosis. Yes. They need to know um, what's happening within the family. Children are very perceptive mm -hmm. and as you read a, about Jeannie Ann in the story, she comes home and, and things are different because mom forgot to give her a hug when she got home from school, mm -hmm. mom forgot to give her a snack, and mom forgot that her baby brother was still in his pajamas that he'd been in all day. Yes. And so the Jeannie Ann realized that something was wrong, but she didn't know what it was. And um, children are also very, um, um, they, they make things up. So there were triggers. Right. And so, as, 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 as so, so this book will pull the children into day-to-day -day life Right. So that they don't they don't feel excluded because they're children. Right, exactly. But it's generational and it's going to bring them into the now of what's going on in the family. That's right. That's powerful. That's that's powerful. So what's been the impact that it's had not only on your family, immediate family, but even outside of your immediate family? Uh, well, as a as a breast cancer advocate, which I still am. Yes. Um, I've done a number of things with Jeannie Ann, and one of them was an Angel Foundation winter retreat oh. in January. The book came out in January. Mm -hmm. It was just published this past January. The winter retreat was at the end of the month. And I was asked to come and be a part of uh, a family uh, retreat where uh, the main topic was going to be breast cancer. And I was asked to read my story and after that to lead the students in um, some kind of a, a responsive activity oh. where they write something or draw something or, or whatever. The whole purpose was to get them talking about the fact that their mothers all had breast cancer. Powerful. Yes, Powerful. very, very much so. So now with that, making the children aware, knowledgeable of what's going on with their mothers, what's the impact that you've seen as a result of that and your involvement this okay. Um, impacts that that I see yes. are very small. 
Mm -hmm. um, and because that's how we see impacts. We don't, we don't, as an author, as a teacher, as a preacher, you don't know what kind of a reach you've had. You can only tell by the little bits and pieces that yes. are given to you. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> during the Angel Foundation um, retreat, one young man um, started writing when I said I wanted them to respond and okay. suddenly yes. he grabbed a piece of paper and he started writing and 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 the other children had already been up on their feet shared what they had drawn or written or wanted to share and yes. he was still writing and it was time for them to move on to the next series mm -hmm. of activities that they were supposed to take part in so he stopped the other students and he said, wait a minute, I didn't get a chance to share mine. Wow. And they turned around, they all turned around, came back in, sat down and listened to him read. And his story that he had written was that he was at, um, he and his mother were at a baseball game and apparently she had just found a lump in her breast. Okay. And she said something to her family about it, and her son happened to be there and heard. And so they started calling it um, a baseball tumor. Mom's got a baseball in her breast kind of thing. And he said, we laughed and we laughed and we laughed about it all. And then uh, Mom had surgery, and then it wasn't funny anymore. My. So that's the impact that that's it had. That's the impact, absolutely. See, immediate impact. Exactly. And viewing it from a child's perspective. So this child then got an opportunity to express the reality of his world. And later on, in that same, at that same um, retreat, I had a chance to talk with just the parents alone. Yes. And, uh, well, as this young man was leaving, he said to me, what do you want me to do with this paper? I said, it's yours. You know, if you want to throw it in the waste paper basket, you can. If you want to take it home, whatever, mm. it's yours to do with what you'd like. And he said, do you want it? How old was he? The uh, age, age He friend. was in about eighth grade. About the eighth grade. Yeah. And I said to him, I'd love to have it. So he gave me the paper. Later, when I was meeting with the parents, I shared it with the mother. Yes. And she read it, and she started to cry. Of course. And she said... I'm so happy I brought him here. This is the first he has responded and talked about my cancer. Wow. So now, traumatic facts that were impacting his life. This young person had unhealed hurts, unmet needs, unresolved issues. Because you're there at this function, you became the outlet Absolutely. that allowed him to release. That's powerful. That now, I'm, I'm powerful. sure people want to get this book. Share your information, your website, your email, okay. and how they can get this book. Okay. Um, my book is available at um, Amazon.com. Mm -hmm. It's available at BarnesandNoble.com. Yes. And it's available at my own website, which is DianeDavies.com. Mm -hmm. And um, it's also available... Um, through some of the local bookstores in, in Minnesota. But, you know, I'm hoping that this will help me reach Praise further. Praise the Lord, it'll be Amazon for me. Okay. That, that, that. <laughs> it's Minnesota, Amazon for me, too. Minnesota, Lord Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so there's an audience out there that's being reached even now, our, our, our viewing audience. They're, being, they're having an opportunity to hear from a different perspective Yes. And to really move in and to see how impactful and how transformational this, this book story is. Can be, yes. yes, so very, very powerful. Absolutely. And, and, and from a, even from a kid's perspective. So, how do you see it impacting the younger generation, even with the, the uh, opportunities that you had to share? Mm -hmm. Do you see other opportunities like that opening up for you as a result of the book? Oh, absolutely. Um, when the book was first published in January of yes. 2019, I had um, two corporate sponsors step forward, and um, one of them was a construction company, and one of them was a bank, mm. and they um, gave, they donated enough money so that in turn I could donate this book to the cancer care centers in the state of Minnesota. How, in the whole entire state? In the whole state. How powerful. 
Exactly. So you've reached the entire state of Minnesota. I hope so. Okay. I hope so. And also, um, just the day before yesterday, Jeannie, Jeannie Ann and I had a sudden um, idea. Yes. And I started a uh, Jeannie Ann's foundation. And so every uh, book that's sold, um, 10 percent of the sales will go into Jeannie Ann's foundation and we'll continue to give those books to breast cancer care centers hopefully throughout the United States. Yeah, Jeannie Ann's. No, 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 okay. So how did Jeannie Ann's name end up here? Speak to us about that. Um, well, like I said, I taught school for 26 years mm -hmm. and I'm a grandmother of a granddaughter. Um, there, when you're a teacher, there are certain names that you would choose to yes. use for something, and then there are other names <laughs> that you would certainly stay away from, yes. you know, and not not use them. And Jeannie Ann was just kind of a combination of a couple sweet little girls that that I had as first graders. Oh, you know, and their na those names just kind of came to me, and it was kind of a god thing. So from some students, yeah. You got the name. Yeah. That's powerful and impacting. Wow, this is really, really, really awesome. So now, even with the with the victory and being the survivor and then being an advocate for those who have, you know, who, who are survivors and who have been victims of it. Mm -hmm. I've had it uh, touch my life personally. You know, my uh, my my daughter's mother okay. uh, succumbed to breast cancer. And so it's been something. So 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 I'm intimately involved with that. Uh, you know, I'm I'm pinked out in October. <laughs> you know, I, I'm pinked out when I travel the world. I, I I I still got my pink with me. I got my pink necklace. I got my pink little ribbon on my thing. So I'm I'm pinked out. I got my pink golf shirt. So I got enough that I can wear pink every day. <laughs> okay. And so all I'm, through October. All through October. <laughs> okay. I'm, 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 every day I got something pink on. And so. Uh, I'm intimately involved with that. What's the impact or the significance? And I want to look at this from a male perspective. How critical is it for males to be sensitive to this breast cancer thing? Because this thing is huge and it, it oh. runs rapid. How critical is it for males to be sensitive to that? Very, very critical. Um, many, many times, um, I was a, a Reach to Recovery volunteer for the American Cancer Society. Yes. So when someone is newly diagnosed with breast cancer, I would be contacted and I would make an initial visit either to the home or invite the woman out for coffee somewhere. And, you know, we would have an opportunity to talk about things. Many, many times the husband cannot, doesn't stay. The husband leaves because he can't handle the the what's happening. Wow, now that's powerful. Speak to us about the impact with you being intimately involved with that. What type of traumatic impact does it have on that husband where he's not able to stay there because of the, see, because many people will look from the outside thinking that the males are insensitive. But is it that they're insensitive or that it's having such a traumatic impact upon them they don't know how to deal with it? I think some of them are just insensitive to okay. it. You know, I think there's a certain percentage that absolutely are. I think there's another percentage that are, um, they're so afraid Fear. of what's coming and what's happening that they can't, they can't deal with it. They can't jump in and say, that's okay. Yes. You know, honey, I still love you. My husband, um, thank goodness, uh, when we talked about what I was going to do, you know, was I going to do a lumpectomy? Was I going to do a mastectomy? I said, I, I want to do a mastectomy, but I want to do a double mastectomy because my mother had breast cancer in the early uh -huh. 70s, and she only had one breast removed, so all the rest of her life she was lopsided and had trouble dressing and yes. all that kind of yes. stuff. But my husband said... Um, you know, your breasts are nice and all of that kind of stuff, but he said, if I had to choose between having your breasts or having you, 
I'd rather have you. Wow, that's powerful. We we so listen. We need to, this is so so powerful, uh, so impactful, and uh, we're just so appreciative of you coming in, and with what you've shared, it's going to cause worlds and lives to be transformed. It's going to cause people to be empowered and, and hopefully eliminate that fear factor. We have about 30 seconds before we're, we're, we're closing. Share with the audience something that you feel is impactful for them to know in that short time that we have. Okay. Wow. That's a... Yes, a short there's, one. there's a lot to talk yeah, about. Yeah, just briefly. When you're, when you're talking with children about a cancer diagnosis, whether it's breast cancer or any kind of cancer, there's the four C's okay yes. that you need to remember and the first C for a child is did I cause it okay second one is can I catch it mm -hmm. and the third one is uh, what cure it oh can oh, that's right <laughs> thank you <laughs> <laughs> could I can I cure it so wow. it's it's cause it catch it cure it and the last one is Who's going to take care of me? That's powerful. Cause it, catch it, cure it, and who's, and who's going, to, going take to take care, care of, me. of me? Those are answers, and those are things that can be answered. We thank you so much for coming in. Oh, we we trust welcome. that people will contact you and get in touch with you. And you know, this has been another powerful episode of Books of the Month. And uh, you know, we're we're just excited about you joining us. And thank you so much for being oh, with us. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. All right. So powerful, so impacting. We want you to hold on. Don't go away because we'll be right back with another exciting interview. An important message for Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you receiving all the benefits available to you? Do you know there is money available to lower your Medicare prescription costs? Now is the time to find the coverage that's right for you at the right price. The way to do that is to explore your options. You can spend hours doing that yourself, or you can call Health Markets and let us do the legwork for you, with no cost or obligation. We'll search a variety of plans from nationally recognized companies to find the coverage that's the best fit for you, at a price that fits your budget, and we'll do it at no charge to you. Plus, you may be able to save money on prescriptions. We'll tell you if you qualify. Why pay a penny more than you have to for an insurance policy? Let us find you the right plan at the right price and see if you qualify to lower your prescription costs. Put our free service to work for you at no charge. Call 855-589-0676. 855-589-0676. Don't wait. Call now. Listen carefully. If your student loan debt is overwhelming you and things seem hopeless, we've got great news. If you're still struggling with your student loan debt, there are government programs available that may actually lower your payments by consolidating your federal student loans. Just call us. We'll review your situation and work with you to consolidate your debt. In many cases, depending on your situation, we can lower your monthly payments in half or more. It doesn't matter how much you owe or how far behind you are. Even if you're in default, call us right now to find out how we can lower your payment in half immediately. You can stop the harassing phone calls and the wage garnishments. All you need to do is pick up the phone and call us right now. We can remove your default status, consolidate your federal student loans, lower your payments, and we can do it today. Stop worrying. This is a real solution that can help. So please call us right now. Call 800-981-7594. That's 800-981-7594. Millions of people today have no dental insurance. If you're without insurance, do you have a plan to care for your teeth without spending a fortune? Well, we do. Introducing Dental Plans. Dental Plans offers more than 40 dental savings plans from top healthcare brands. You pay one low annual membership fee and then save money every time you go to the dentist. Dental Plans pays for itself immediately. With Dental Plans, you choose your dentist. You can join today and start saving at the dentist tomorrow. There's even a 30-day money-back guarantee. It was very easy to find a plan that, that met our budget. There's no reason to not cut your dental bills in half. You can get everything done that you need to have done and it's still affordable. So, if you don't have dental insurance, you now have a plan. Dental plans. Join today and you'll save 15% off any plan. We'll even give you one month free with this limited time exclusive TV offer. Visit dentalplans.com or call 855-567-6668.
Does this sound familiar? You make the minimum payment, but the balance is still the same. You make a payment a few days late. Here come the late fees, past due notice, and the collection calls. We understand dealing with debt problems is not easy. It is stressful and hard, not only for you, but for your loved ones, your family. You're not alone, but you must understand debt problems only get worse unless you take action. If you owe more than $10,000 in credit card debt, medical bills, or other unsecured debt, please take a minute and call the number on the screen. Learn about programs that have helped thousands of people get out of debt. Reduce your monthly payments, cut interest, and even settle your debt for a lot less than you owe. Save thousands. Get your life back. Call the number on the screen now. It's a free call, free information, and most importantly, you will have options. Remember, waiting will not make the problem go away. Call us. Our lines are now open. Millions of people today have no dental insurance. If you're without insurance, do you have a plan to care for your teeth without spending a fortune? Well, we do. Introducing Dental Plans. Dental Plans offers more than 40 dental savings plans from top healthcare brands. You pay one low annual membership fee and then save money every time you go to the dentist. Dental Plans pays for itself immediately. With Dental Plans, you choose your dentist. You can join today and start saving at the dentist tomorrow. There's even a 30-day money-back guarantee. It was very easy to find a plan that, that met our budget. There's no reason to not cut your dental bills in half. You can get everything done that you need to have done and it's still affordable. So, if you don't have dental insurance, you now have a plan. Dental plans. Join today and you'll save 15% off any plan. We'll even give you one month free.